You're watching your local news leader. This is WCIA 3 News at 5. We are just really excited to hear the news. A major tournament is coming back to Champaign. The IHSA Boys Basketball Tournament is returning to the State Farm Center. Good evening, I'm Paul Cicchini. City leaders say this is a huge win for the area and one they've been working on since the tournament left in 1995. We have team coverage tonight. WCIA 3's Courtney Bunting is live at the State Farm Center. Brett Behrens is live in studio. First to Courtney, this has been a fight to get where we are today. It certainly has, Paul. Just five years ago, Champaign put in a bid again to get the tournament back from Peoria, where it's been since it first left Champaign again back in 1995. Now, getting this tournament is a huge victory for more than just the sports world. It has historically been a massive boost to this whole region. Hotels, restaurants, and bars are just some that are looking forward to the return. And it's a much-needed help after the losses many have endured from COVID-19. We needed something that was positive to look forward to. Economically, we are looking at a $4 million estimated economic impact for the community. And we have lost so much money. All of us have, every community has, but specific to here, we feel that economically, this will be something for the businesses to look forward to. Hotels are offering incentives to attract people to book. Some are making signs for certain players or teams to hang on their doors. And the tournament will start this coming spring. Now, it's part of a three-year bid, but visit Champaign County leaders say they expect it to stay here for many more years past that to come. Reporting in Champaign, Courtney Bunting, WCIA 3, your local news leader. All right, Courtney, thanks. Now, the decision to move the tournament back to Champaign is a welcome sight for many coaches. WCIA 3 Sports Director Brett Behrens joins us now with that side of the story. Brett. Paul, I've heard from several coaches today who are very excited the tournament will be played at State Farm Center. They all agree that Peoria wasn't a bad option, but Champaign, simply a better one, and that after a quarter century away, it was time for a change. Centennial head coach Tim Lavin knows all about playing at Carver Arena. He won a state title there in 2009 and finished fourth in 2010. Now he's looking forward to trying to get back to the state's biggest college stage, and the fact he won't have to go very far is a plus. Sure, it was special to get there at Peoria, but, you know, if you can get there in your hometown, you know, right down the road in the U of I school, it would be tremendous. With the kids being in their hometown and, and you know, just thinking of local kids going to games there all the time, I'm sure that would just be a great feeling for them as well. So I'm glad it's back. Illinois coach Brad Underwood also weighed in on today's news during a teleconference saying he thinks the state tournament belongs on a college campus like State Farm Center. He's been lobbying to get the tourney there since he took over the program, and now that is a reality. We'll hear more from area coaches coming up in sports and why this is such a big deal for them. Paul? Yeah, it's tough to argue with that fact, though I know there are a lot of people and businesses in the Peoria area that are very disappointed today. Yeah, Peoria's loss is certainly Champaign's gain. Yeah, there's no question about that. All right, Brett, thanks.